verdict in Johnny Depp's defamation suit against Amber Heard. That's in, but the case continues to play out in the court of public opinion. A seven-person jury awarded the actor $15 million in damages after finding her defamed him with an op-ed on domestic violence. Christina Ruffini is outside the courtroom in Fairfax, Virginia, for us. Christina, everyone's got to have an opinion about this one today. Good morning. Good morning, Tony. Yes, Depp was the overall winner, but it was a surprise split verdict with Heard being awarded $2 million in her countersuit against Johnny Depp. Now, her team also plans to appeal, but we're told that's unlikely to be granted at this point. Amber Heard and her lawyers sat quietly as they listened to the jury's verdict. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Heard will now have to pay $10 million in compensatory damages and $350,000 in punitive damages after the original $5 million amount was capped and reduced due to state law. After the verdict, the largely pro-Depp crowd cheered his legal team. The claims against Johnny Depp are defamatory and unsupported by any evidence. I think the jury followed the evidence in this case. Seth Berenswag is a business and trial attorney in Northern Virginia. What was the hardest part of this case, do you think, for Depp's team? Without question, you have to demonstrate that this was done with a malicious intent. Very difficult to do in a case. Uh, Johnny Depp's lawyers slammed that out of the park. Heard and her lawyers didn't speak to the cameras after the verdict. But in a statement, she wrote that she was heartbroken. And the jury's decision, quote, sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly humiliated. Depp was not in court for the decision, choosing to stay in London for work. But in a lengthy statement of his own, he said, quote, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. The live stream trial drew millions of viewers each week. Heard testified twice, detailing more than a dozen incidents of alleged physical and sexual assault. Pounding the back of my head, pounding it with his fist. Depp, however, maintained that he never abused Heard and that he was the one who suffered abuse during their relationship, an accusation she denies. She threw the large bottle. The tip of my finger had been severed. For Amber Heard, she has an incredibly, incredibly difficult road ahead of her. Jesse Weber is an attorney and host on the Law and Crime Network. He was in the courtroom during the trial. I don't see her having an A-list career anymore. If she was on her way to stardom with Aquaman and Aquaman 2, I don't see that happening for her. Now, Heard's team could also try to negotiate down those damages or even Depp, I even asked Depp to waive them, arguing that he got what he really wanted, and that's vindication in the court of public opinion. Tony? All right, Christina, thank you very much.